Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and we're going to take a look at our landmark Covington site. And this is a site we actually made a little bit of money on. What I mean is we sent a contract team in with this to uh, bid on a contract, and they got it. And it was based on, upon this uh, beta animation, and it's an air application. And we're going to show it to you real quick, and then we're going to talk about how it was developed. And uh, basically, uh, it's 3D. It's built in paper vision, or it was built in paper vision. Now we changed it to CS4. And you can see you got some moves here. Still a little skewing that needs to be worked on, but it's working. A little layout here. You can hit a uh, get the uh, torus uh, or wormhole view if you want it. Let's go back to that. You can pan it, and you can zoom it. And if you click on one of these uh, little markers here, up comes a uh, image with text. You hit the audio button; it plays an audio for you. The first public service of the Episcopal Church. And you can scan with that. And that works in 3D as well. So you skew that and scan. Uh, it has driving directions. Let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. If you click on one of these, it'll take you to where you need to go. Let's click that off. And if you hit directions over here, and you click on one of those, this little penguin animates and actually gives the text up here. It tells you uh, when it's turning. Watch real quick. You take a turn here. Yep, turn left, east, second street. There you go. And that's pretty much the application, and I think they walked in there, and it just you know, blew them away. They thought this was great, and so they got funded. And now let me talk a little bit about some of the important things that helped us make this program. I'll bring my blog up real quick here. So all this information is on my blog at www.professionalpapervision.wordpress.com. And just go to the article that says CS4 Google Maps Project, a money maker. And uh, there's just some really important things that uh, actually helped me to make this program. And I go through it step by step in the discussion. Of course, we use Flex MXML components. That was a big thing with Karen Gorm talking to those components back and forth. So I could actually put anything in those components. I can put video, I can put audio, I could put uh, you know, 3D uh, objects rotating around. So that's a very powerful technique that we're going to be using in the future. Uh, we use the uh, parent child zero to remove what was ever on the screen and then place the next, uh, for example, a tunnel you saw the wormhole, put that back on and use this basically to just remove child, add child uh, by naming and by the zero element. Of course, you already saw the drop-down list, which worked well. That's uh, basically using an XML uh, feed, and uh, we just click on whatever we want to go to, our wormhole, and then finally, there's our XML that we use. Those are the main points. Go ahead and go to the blog, read all about it. I just want to just put this post up because typically on uh, blog sites like this, we give you a lot of techniques of so how you do this and how you do that, but we never give you something that people actually make money with or they go in to get they get they get contracts with and lots of times you want to walk in with something like this that has some bells and whistles and if you do most of the time you'll win that contract so good luck with it take it it's about 200 uh, megabytes download it use it however you want uh, it's free to the public